These are my tools to create awesome PS3 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power Now, Wholesome Project Finish Me. We got a really great tutorial today. There's not many video tutorials on this particular topic. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is the only video tutorial that discusses this topic at the time of this video recording. And I'm going to show you how to use this awesome program, which is called PS3 ISO Tools version 2.2. And in my particular case, I'm going to use it to basically create ISO, PS3 ISO game files from the game folder. The reason why this would be important is, let's say you're playing a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1, 2, or 3. And let's say you're trying to play it online with your custom firmware PS3 and when you use a PSN patch after you load your game the regular method using webman tools or multi-man you get a black screen. And how do you defeat the black screen? The easiest way is either A you can rip the game to your PS3 console as an ISO or B you can use your external hard drive and put a split ISO on there. So that's the explanation and let me show you how this works it works excuse me and I'll show you the other features of this tool so sorry for the long introduction but I believe that background information is necessary for the rest of this video tutorial so let's do this so we go to the ps3 ISO tools if you go to the more info section I have a link to where you can download that once you are here you're gonna have this menu basically and there's a lot of good stuff here you can do create ISO split ISOs modify ISOs extract ISOs join ISOs patch ISO so if you go to the readme file that comes with the zip file, you can read about all these different features. And what I'm going to do is I'm more interested in today's tutorial about the create the ISO. And let me show you how that works. So the firmware version, I want to select the latest version here. I don't think it really makes that big of a difference. I'm going to select it just in case here. And then I'm going to say create ISO. And before I go too much further, let me show you the end result. Show you what the end is so you know exactly what we're doing. So if I go into my PS3 external hard drive, I have a folder here called PS3 ISO. Inside this PS3 ISO, I have these games here that already are split from this program. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to delete all these files. And I'm going to show you the process, how it works from A to Z. It's pretty awesome. So we're back at this program here. And what I decided to do is I have this check split ISOs to fit on FAT32 device, which is my external one terabyte hard drive today. And then also rename ISOs to game name dash game ID. If you want to go ahead and play around with these other options, by all means, go ahead and do it. But these options right now work flawlessly for my setup. So let's go ahead click on continue. Now, what I'm going to do is um, you read this section here. And how it works is you can select a, PS, a single PS3 game folder. Or the awesome part is you can select a whole PS3 game archive. So let me show you how that works. So on my desktop, I have a games folder. Inside the games folder, I have three games here. I got Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3. So what I could do is I could select a certain game, like just this game only, and it'll just rip, I mean convert that one game only to ISO. Or what I could do is select the parent, the games folder, and then all the stuff, all the other games underneath it will automatically be converted one by one by one. So let's say you have a fantastic PS3 archive of game collections, like, I don't know, let's say 10 or 20 games or something. And let's say you don't want to sit there one by one by one converting it. You can select this one master root folder. It's going to go through your entire game archive that's within, um, underneath it basically. And then you can go you know, go to work or school or whatever, do your stuff. When you come back, all your games are, are properly converted to ISOs on your external hard drive. And that's how you do it like a boss. So what you want to do now is click OK. And then you tell it, where is the directory where to generate the ISO files? Well, I wanted to go to my PS3 hard drive. So here's my external hard drive. And I already made a folder called PS3 ISO. Click it and say OK. And now it's going to go through this process. It's going to say generating ISO one out of three or, or how many games you got basically bottom line is. Now, I'm using Windows 10, 64-bit. I did notice that the program crashed on me when I tried to figure this out the first time. It turns out, I can't explain this, if you have TeamViewer, turn it off. Turning off TeamViewer apparently allows the program to work properly. I don't know if you use the same processes or something in the background. But turn off TeamViewer and then run this program. It should not crash on you. I did not use any compatibility modes. I did not run an administrator, nothing like that. This definitely works in Windows 10 64-bit, and I suspect it will work in older programs, uh, Windows, Windows 7 uh, 64-bit or Windows 8 or 8.1, for example. So this is going to take a while, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to basically pause the video, and then once this is done, I'll show you what the end result looks like, and I'll show you what it looks like on my PS3 hard drive. I won't show you footage of it working on my PS3 because 
it, it, it works. Basically, what you do is you connect your external hard drive to your PS3, turn on your PS3, you got a CFW PS3, so what you do is you go to Webman Games, you have to scan your hard drive, select your game, and then go ahead and play it online by using um, PS Ninja, then PSN Patch, and then you load your disk icon for your game, and then you log into PSN, and then you play. If I totally lost you there, go look in the PS3 playlist. I have a dedicated video showing you how to play games with CFW in general online. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video, and once this converting process is done, I'll show you the end result. It's going to be awesome. Let's do this. All right, so we're back. So this is the results table that comes out after the conversion is done. So here's a list of games that I converted, basically. They all say okay. They basically have some file stats here. I don't really understand what all this other stuff means, but as long as it says okay, you're good to go. So if we go back to my external hard drive, oh yes, this is converting done. So if I go back to my external hard drive here, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and then I go to PS3 ISO folder. Here are the games. And apparently these games are with an extension like .iso.0 and .iso.1. I'm sure the game is larger. It's going to be like 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. And then what you do is just use Webman tools, or you can use Irisman, or you can use Multiman, load the ISO, and you're good to go. So that's today's video tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.